hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel so today we are reporting on the return of fans here in Wembley so I thought it'd be pretty cool to walk around the area and um, see how it is like when when fans are back obviously it's a few hours before kickoff before the Carabao Cup final will Spurs get their trophy after so many years or will City continue to dominate the domestic trophies um, I mean you'll know when you watch this video but uh, yeah I think it'd be pretty cool to see um, I'm gonna see if I can uh, see some of the pubs if they are happy that match days are back and also um, film this beautiful hotel before behind me because uh, I think I missed that in my last uh, video of the area summer is back summertime sunny day here in Wembley so the fountains are back on as well really good to see um, we've got here as well the pubs are back open so Wembley is back you know it's really great to see here you can see the um, preparations for the match day so they've got these new steps here in Wembley which is uh, different compared to the um, I don't know like hills what they used to have so yeah it's pretty cool they've got all these stewards here that obviously need to check for the coronavirus will be full here so there's about 8,000 fans that are gonna be at the uh, stadium today so pretty cool to see that because uh, I think it's great that that fans are gonna be slowly coming back to the stadium um, so yeah I'm gonna see if I can speak to some of them uh, probably gonna be doing that at Box Park which was um, from my previous video if you haven't seen my previous Wembley video go and uh, have a look at it I'll leave a link in the description but yeah, let's go and have a look at the box park. Found our first uh, interviewee. He's a security guard here at Quintain Living. So, um, so mate, tell me, um, who do you support uh, here in the Premier League? To be honest, I do not support no one, but I do have a few teams that I follow. One of them is Man City. I do love the game. I mean, the game they're producing these days is amazing. I think it's one of the best ones in Europe. Um, yeah, I. I do like watching them, I do like Pep Guardiola and his technique. I do love Riyad Mahrez, if he's ever, if he's ever gonna watch it. Big fan of Bernardo Silva and uh, Phil Foden as well, so I'm, I do like Man City quite. Yeah. That's some good footballers, man. I, I love watching those as well, it's, um, especially Phil Foden, how he's burst on the scene and obviously Mahrez with his smooth skills on the wing. Um, so uh, just a quick prediction because obviously we've got the Carabao Cup final happening today who do you think is gonna win it? To be honest I would say Man City will win it because I mean taking in consideration that Mourinho got sucked about three four days ago or actually three days ago <laughs> uh, I don't think Tot Tottenham really have a big chance to win it they're a bit down outside 3-0 to Man City uh, two for Mares and one for Foden Wow, that's very, uh, very uh, predictive. Um, I like that. Obviously, my video is going up after the match, so we can check if you actually oh, yeah, were right. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a question because I'm a big Barcelona fan, so I always ask this too when I interview people. Um, who do you think is the better player, Messi or Ronaldo? Uh, that's a hard question. Uh, I would say I, I won't compare the two of them. For me personally, the best football player I ever watched playing. I mean, since I was a kid, that has to be a Ronaldinho. Those skills were the best. Even though I do like Real Madrid, but I gotta say, Ronaldinho was the best ever player I've watched him playing. Those dribbling, those skills he had was amazing. But between Ronaldo and Messi, mm, I don't like Barcelona that much, but I would say Messi. Oh wow, you heard it here first guys. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. That my was pleasure. my questions. Have In, a great day. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you. How to film this though, I probably... <laughs> so, I've got here another couple of guests. Uh, well, looking at the kits, I think it's Spurs fans. So, uh, so yeah, we're here for the Carabao Cup final today. So, gents, what are we thinking? Is Spurs going to win their trophy today? Well, hopefully, yeah. yeah. We're, all, we're always will, optimistic. We win. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if I can get a prediction from you guys, one by one, uh, what the game is going to be today. I made 2-1, 2-1 Spurs. 2-1 Spurs. Yeah. 
same here, Spurs win. 2-1, two, two, same as the 2008 Cup final. He's never seen us win. I'm going to go 2-0 um, Spurs. We're going to win today. Wow, pretty confident Spurs fans here. I love it. You know, you got you gotta you gotta be confident, huh? I've never seen us win a cup final, so today could be. Or even a score a goal. Or score a goal. So I'm optimistic. Cheers. Wow, cheers to that, cheers. gents. Cheers, <laughs> All right, so um, I just wanted to ask um, one question because I'm a Barcelona fan myself. So um, between like Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, who's the better player? Messi, 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 Great, you know, meet to be able to meet up, have a beer, and whatever else. He was else. on home stadium for nearly two years as well, so. And I haven't seen these two for 412 days, so yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, guys. Well, enjoy the day today. Thanks very much for coming on to the video and uh, enjoy the game. Enjoy the gear, ba beers as well. Cheers. Yeah, Someone you Spurs. Yeah. <laughs> wow, not a few Spurs fans. I, I haven't seen any many Man City fans in the area yet. So, uh, <laughs> so I think uh, I think Spurs got the biggest support for the game today. So, gents, um, what do we feel about being back uh, back in the stadium today? Very nice. Absolutely love it. It's great. It's absolutely great to be back. Um, can't wait to see the game. Can't wait to experience it. Uh, Live sport for first time the year. Yeah, it's amazing. The sun's out. It's very strange to see you watching league football again. Um, but very excited. We're just lucky to be here. Cool. And uh, the, the gents over here? Yeah, it's nice to be back. Sun shining. Got a pint of beer. Hopefully the team can turn up as well and um, let's all pull together and try and win the cup. It's going to be difficult against the oil barons, but um, <laughs> who knows? It's a one off game. Let's go for it. Uh, okay, I think I have to stay be behind the, the barriers here. So, um, so if I can get your predictions quickly, then before I close, I think Spurs 1 0. Uh, lucky yeah, uh, okay. 2 1, Harry Kane with the winner. Harry Kane, let's go. Hopefully a Spurs win, but I think Man City might have a bit too much for us. Um, we go for a 2-1 City win. Cool. Anything's possible today, so I'm going to say 2-1 Spurs. That's a lot. Two, two, one. Okay, great. Thanks, chaps. Sorry, I think I, I need to stop the video, but uh, but thanks very much. Have a, enjoy the game, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Another couple of fans that uh, I found, um, you know, that want to answer some questions about the game today so I think there's Spurs fan and one is like a, a neutral fan but just happy to be back at the sport so what, what do you feel about being back at the game today? Oh it's amazing yeah I can't wait it's been a long time long time coming yeah um, yeah we'll see it's gonna be a tough match but the yeah. last game I saw before lockdown was a Carabao Cup final Man City versus Aston Villa might give you a clue who's the other team I actually support so <laughs> is, is that, that City, mate? Is, is that Villa then or yeah oh Villa wow fan, yeah. Villa they're, they're a nice club to watch I really like Jack Grealish they're a great exactly. player exactly yeah, silky smooth skills he won't be on the pitch today but there's Harry Winks so <laughs> he'll be alright <laughs> yeah, a little last minute transfer you know, yeah exactly you know he's, you better, get, better get a wiggle on though <laughs> <laughs> and um, what's your predictions for the game today oh, well I don't know I mean <laughs> Spurs fans yeah it's uh, obviously got every hope every hope um, they've just got to try and everything on the pitch but yeah we'll see we'll see any prediction that you want to put in yeah i mean it's going to be i reckon i reckon two all at, after the 90 and then yeah we'll see what happens on penalties oh, wow and for you i think man city got a pedigree in this competition so we'll be three nil <laughs> city i think but i do yeah. want spurs to win so i'm going to be a good mate but oh wow <laughs> okay well, well we'll see about those predictions because obviously the video is going to go live after this so we'll see uh, who is right and um Okay, so uh, back to like uh, global football. So, because I'm a Barcelona fan, okay. um, do you watch like um, any other clubs that you like apart from Spurs and in your case uh, Aston Villa? 
Yeah, well, I, I watched watch the Villa games because you take me there. Yeah, I've taken. He's my lucky charm. Every every Villa game I've been to with him, we haven't lost. So, so actually, that's a good sign for Spurs today. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, I don't watch. I do like watching live football in general. So, I've, I've been to the New Camp. I actually watched Barcelona Tottenham in the Champions League group stages when Tottenham uh, would just scrape through, and that's the year they got to the final. Or the semis. The semis, yeah, against semis. Ajax. Yeah, Ajax is yeah. my, my home club. I'm from the Netherlands. So, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a bit of a trauma for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'd love to go like watch some football in some different leagues and stuff like that. You know, Russia, Dortmund, go to Holland, maybe watch like Ajax uh, against, I don't know, Feyenoord or something like that. So, that, that'd, that'd be, be great. great, great, great. <laughs> and for you, do you like watching? Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone loves Champions League. Um, so, yeah, I, I used to live in Spain, so I've. I've um, well, Granada was my local team down there, but they were obviously not in the Champions League. But uh, <laughs> we just played United the other day, and uh, unfortunately got spanked. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all good fun there. Yeah. And um, okay, because I'm a Barcelona fan, I, I've always asked this question. So between uh, Lionel Messi and, and Cristiano Ronaldo, who's the better footballer? Ronaldo. Sorry, <laughs> Ronaldo. For me, it's CR7. Yeah, for me, it's, it's an absolute. For me, I just think he's an absolute athlete. But I know he's got the silky smooth skills. Messi, but I just I'm a Ronaldo fan personally. Really? Yeah. yeah I, just, oh, I, oh, I go the other way. I mean, I'm a big fan of Ronaldo, but um, I think he, he's got where he is through like pure effort, whereas Messi's got like. The, the Maybe I will support talent. City today. Actually. <laughs> 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 oh wow! Well, thanks, Jen. So I think I think I'm going to leave it at that. So you're going for uh, 90 minutes um, into going extra time to two, and yeah. you're going for uh, three 0 City. Three nil city. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, Jens. All right. Cheers. Thank cheers, you very much. Take care. Bye -bye. Promised. I was gonna go and have a look inside this beautiful hotel behind me, which is the Hilton Wembley. Now, uh, what I've seen from looking through the window is that they've got some pretty incredible sports memorabilia inside. So let's go and have a look and uh, see what they've got. So we are inside of the hotel. So obviously I had to put on my mask because of the COVID restrictions still in place. They've got this beautiful lobby and uh, wall of fame behind me. So yeah, it's a uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at it. So this is probably the hotel's pride and joy, which is the hall of fame. You can see some of the jerseys up there. So I think that's the Portugal jersey, Italian jersey, Belgium jersey with Kevin De Bruyne. Um, we've got the England jersey times two, the home and away. Then we've got, uh, I think that's Denmark, the Dutch jersey, French jersey, that's Man United, Aston Villa. We've got Fulham, Man City, uh, PSV and Liverpool. Some smaller clubs here at the bottom. Yeah, it's really, really incredible collection. We've got Real Madrid here, which is obviously the arch rifle of uh, Barcelona. So yeah, that just means that Barcelona needs to come and stay here to get a shirt up on the wall, it looks like. Um, then here below it, we've got Juventus, Monaco. We've got a few match balls. And here is the shoe of uh, Alexis Sanchez, who uh, stayed here with Arsenal in his peak days. We've got here some rugby jerseys, the All Blacks. Um, some NFL and uh, yeah let's see I think there's also some boxing gear here so we've got some boxing gloves of famous boxers that stayed here I'm not really into boxing but it's still pretty cool and we've got the guitar of Ed Sheeran my god there's some really cool cool incredible uh, memorabilia here and uh, yeah if we look here to the corner looks like there's also a bunch of stuff printed on the wallpaper so it is well famous events that happen in the area so obviously if we look there must be then as well the olympics yeah the olympics in 2012 is when uh this hotel was opened i've been told so yeah it's pretty cool more shirts hanging on top here so we've got man city we've got a basketball team uh, some other shirts, I think that's the Arsenal shirt, another Man City shirt and some England shirts. Um, England really must love staying here, so yeah, pretty cool to see that. We are in the hotel here, so I found an employee of the hotel that uh, is willing to talk a little bit about how it feels to have fans back in the area. So that's straight away going to be my first question. So how does it feel to have fans back in the, in the area here in Wembley? 
Okay, so guys, it's really nice to have people back and see normality in the area and the busy effects of people enjoying life again and celebrating football. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's see uh, how does it feel to work in a hotel that's in such a busy area when, uh, when there's matches happening in the area. Hi guys, so working in Hilton London Wembley is great. Um, we have a lot of clientele here. We have a lot of people who commute worldwide um, and also like to travel outside of London to come into Wembley town, which is more convenient um, for them as it's less quieter on weekdays and more relaxing than busy London. Um, we love welcoming guests on a daily basis, it's really great and we love the experience with them and getting to know them. So thank you for watching another video on the channel, some great fan reactions, some good predictions and it was great to see the uh, hotel as well, the Hilton Wembley, uh, they've got some really cool memorabilia in the hotel so yeah, if you like the content on my channel please make sure you subscribe, it really helps me out and uh, like the video because um, it makes the video go a little bit more on the algorithm of YouTube so thank you very much for your support and see you on the next video, ciao! Wow, this is pretty cool. I think that's the Man City player bus. Um, obviously saying, we are city, we are city. I didn't expect to see that on my walk around the area. So yeah, it looks like city is in the building and in the area. Uh, let's see if they can win the game today. So it says, we are city. So yeah, let's see if they can win the game today.